We got these glow in the dark baits. It's hard being this good at fishing. Got him. Holy cri- Oh man. That was probably my PV too. You seen the way I set a hook? I set a mean hook. They don't call you lip ripper for nothing. That's what they call me in some circles. Got one that time. He's a better one. He's a better one. What is going on you crazy people? I'm back at it again. I'm doing some crazy things. We got a weird echo in here. There we go. We're opening up the garage door. So we get rid of the echo. We're going to have a little bit of road noise, but we need the garage door opened anyway. Because the things we're going to be doing today, we're doing some bait making, but we have, we've we got some special powder here. Look at this. Special powder. Seriously, guys. Chill out. We've got some special powder here that's going to go into our baits. Shameless plug. If you want to pick up a mask, we got mask available too. We'll talk about that at another time. So what's special about the powder? The powder glows in the dark. Now I've got the light on over here. I wish that would turn off. That would help. Let's do that. That's right. It glows in the dark. This was a bad decision. How do I get back over here without running into stuff? Oh, yep. Oh, there's my tripod. Yep, that's okay. It glows in the dark. We're putting glow in the dark powder in our baits. It's gonna be freaking sweet. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Let's get into it. All right, first things first, we need two glasses. We're gonna take our plastisol here. We're gonna fill them up about half a cup. I think that would be more than plenty. Boom, half a cup. Into the microwave these go. We'll talk about these more in a minute. All right, while that first set's going, let's talk about what baits we're gonna be making today. So we're gonna be making our finesse worms. We've also got a seven inch curl tail worm. Those are gonna be the two styles of baits. This is just a duplicate finesse worm, so nothing special. We've got a green glow powder, and we've also got a blue glow powder. So those are gonna be the two. So I'm probably gonna have some sort of light green. I don't want the bait color to be super crazy. I kinda of wanted to be translucent and have the powder pretty much take it over. Same thing with the blue, nothing super crazy. Let's let the powder do what the powder does. First batch of plastic is over here and is now clear. So I need to start with the color. I think I'm gonna go with green first, like two drops. Nice color there, I'm digging that. Let's get some flake. I like that. What other flake color can I put in there? Ooh, what about just green? Super fine green flake. Not a whole ton of it, because again, it's very, very fine. Dude, I'm digging it. I'm digging it, it's looking good. I don't know how this is gonna do. I really don't. I don't know what this is gonna do or what it's not gonna do. Looks like our blue, or what is going to be blue, is ready. So I don't even know, I don't even know how much of this I need. I don't know much about it. But I definitely want it to glow, so I wanna put a good bit in there. I mean, surely that's that'll work, right? Okay, so it kinda turns it a little white. Maybe we need to darken this up a little bit. That like turned like lime green. Not sure I like that. I mean, I knew it was gonna do something, but let's darken this up a little bit. That color right there, I could live with. I can live with that. Let's go ahead and shoot one. Let's see what it looks like. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We take it back out and remelt it and try again. Now, if those work, We'll hit our curl tails last. All right, let's set this to the side. Let's start working on our blue. So I've got, it's actually gonna be more purple than blue. So I've got a little bit of June bug here. We're gonna do the same thing we did the last one. Just two drops of it. It's kinda got like a purple haze going there. You know what? Let's just see what this blue does first before we add another color because I would fish with just that light purple color if I had the option. Again, I don't know how much to add, so I'm just I'm gonna be a little liberal with this. So definitely I wanna darken it up a little bit. I actually have straight blue, it's just this stuff is like super strong, so I gotta be careful with it. Two little drops, see what that does. Definitely brings the blue. Let's put some blue flake in there. Definitely want some black flake. I may have put way too much blue flake. Can you really have too much flake though? I mean, seriously? 
That's a very cool color. All right, let's go with that. But first, before we pour that, we gotta check these guys out. So let's do that. Let's crack those open. Boys, I'm gonna tell you, that's not, that's not a bad color right there. And let's see how well they glow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. Uh, yeah, I think that worked. I think they're freaking glowing like crazy. I like that a lot. Yes, son. Now we got some glow worms. Let's do the blue real quick. Hopefully they look as good as the greens. Yeah, we do. I mean, it's kind of like a little bit of a, that's not a bad color, folks. That's like a light June bug. I can live with that. I can totally live with that. Moment of truth, do the blue ones glow? Or they're, I guess they're purple, but does it glow blue? Uh, yeah, I think it does. How freaking cool is that, guys? Look at that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna do it for this portion of the video. So I've actually poured up uh, a couple of, or at least one pour or one shot of the curl tails in each color. And uh, just, just look at this, just look, look at this. Just, just take a look, look at all those. Look at all the baits in there. We got these glow in the dark baits. Just think about if you're out fishing um, and you sit these under some sort of lighting uh, while you're fishing, they're gonna glow in the dark. So we can fish these at night as long as we've got some lighting source sitting on them um, to keep them, uh, I, I don't know what you call that. Well energized. Either way, we're going to go get on the water. Um, I doubt it's going to be at night night, um, but here's the deal. I want y'all to think about this. If we go out there around dusk, the deeper we go, the darker it gets. So as long as we're fishing those deep, they're going to glow. Um, I have a feeling they're going to glow regardless just because it's the way the water is. Water is darker than, than air. Um, as long as we're not fishing this on like a bluebird sky where the sun is like in the peak of the day, as long as we wait till uh, I'm gonna say late in the evening to try those things, I have a good feeling that we're gonna catch a couple on some glow worms. That's what we're gonna call them, glow worms. So let's get out to the water, let's go. Hey Chris. What's up, bro? You ever heard of a glow worm? I did, I ate them before. You've eaten a glow worm before? Yeah, but uh, I think it's about troll. Oh, but No, I thought you meant like an actual glow worm, like. Well, I've seen them up in a the cave up in North Alabama. Well, I've got one for you today. Yeah. So I've made some glow worms. Oh, yeah. Those worms literally right next to you mm -hmm. are not just blue and green. They actually glow in the dark. I think so. You don't believe me, do you? Not yet. Well, they're not going to like, they're not going to go nuclear and like glow like, you know. Right. They're, it's, it's not like that, but they do glow in the dark. I've left them out on the boat a little bit and then charge up. Mm -hmm. My thought is we could probably fish those at night and yeah. actually see them glow in the water. But filming at night is a bit of a challenge. We've done that before, it didn't work out very well. I thought today might be the perfect day. We've got some overcast skies, so the sun is nowhere to be found. And I think if we pass the water column probably about three or four feet where it starts to get dark, I think those things will probably glow. But we've got like a June bug color. We've also got like a sort of like a green pumpkin color. June bug? I'd call that bubble, I'd call that blueberry. Okay, blueberry, fine. And army. Blueberry and army, is that the, okay, that's. That's the official colors. The official colors. Okay, thank you for that input. What color do you want? I really like the blue, but the green's probably going to catch, but I'll still go with the blue. Okay, so you're going with blue. I will tell you, the blue lights up brighter than the green. What if it scares them? It might scare them. They may think, hey, that's not, I shouldn't eat that. <laughs> the name of the game. Y'all saw how I made them. Um, I've got Chris's approval on the names now. So we've got Blueberry and Army. Those are the names. I've, I'm stuck with Army, even though you actually served in the Army. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna rig up a drop shot in a Texas rig. I'm assuming you're probably gonna do something similar. Texas rig. Texas rig. And we're gonna see if we can't catch a couple fish on these glow worms for you guys. And then we'll wrap this video up. And if you hang out, if you've made it this far, there's probably gonna be a giveaway. I mean, I think y'all already figured that. That's pretty much what I do on this channel. I like giving back. So. Uh, we're probably going to do a giveaway here at the end, and I will tell you what that is, but you got to stay tuned. All right, Chris, you're starting T rig. I'm going to start with drop shot on Army. I think it's because it glows brighter. Is that what it is? I think so. 
It definitely ain't you. <laughs> you want me to switch over to the green one now? If you want to. Just to make you happy. Going to the green machine. Army of one. Got him. Holy crap. Oh, man. That was probably my PB too. I'm totally gonna get in the comments of everyone's post and say I just lost my PB yesterday. Man, that was a giant. I'll let him slip away. Got one that time. He's a better one. He's a better one. Better fish. This ain't your fish. My fish. Let me tell you how I know. Cause I'm holding him. Fish likes the glow worm. I like that. All right, so you've got one on blue. I've got one on green. I've been bit a lot on green. I think I'm gonna switch to blue. There you go. Boom. So I've got the old blueberry curly tail. This is actually the one that Chris used to catch his first fish. So just reusing it so we don't have to use all these bait. Yep. Oh my goodness, another PB. Ah, another giant. To all y'all that think finesse fishing only catches small fish, feast your eyes on this. It's hard being this good at fishing, Chris. I mean, it, when I just catch so many big ones like I have been, it just, I feel bad for other people because they just don't get that thrill of every time you set the hook, you get a giant. I mean, did you see that? I didn't even set the hook on that guy. He just took it and jumped him on his own. I'm telling you, they just, they jump on the, they jump on my hook, all these giants. You seen the way I set a hook? I set a mean hook. They don't call you lip ripper for nothing. That's what they call me in some circles. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today's video. Chris is still fishing his army worm. Uh, you were only fishing Texas rig, I was only fishing drop shot. So a pretty good test. The only thing I wish we could have done different again is I wish it was really dark and we could actually see the things glowing. I'm just gonna have to hope that they did their job because we, I've proven on camera and in the thumbnail that these things glow extremely bright under the right conditions. So we've left them out on the boat for a while, let them get some sun, and uh, I'm pretty sure they're glowing. I mean, I think they're glowing. Let's see. Yeah, it's glowing. So there you go. That was the blue. I just held it up to the lens and like just cupped my hand. You could see it glowing there. So I have a good feeling about it. I think it was glowing. I think we're fine. But whether the fish saw it and whether they decided to bite because of it, I don't know. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead, hit the like button for me, uh, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment on what you thought. What was your favorite color of the two, the blue or the green? Uh, what would you name them if you had the opportunity to name them now that you've seen them? But more importantly, if you've done all three of those things, be subscribed, have the notification bell on, uh, like and leave the comment. I'm gonna give those away. So in the next video, I will pick a winner. It'll be in the description of the next video, which is why you need those ding dong notifications turned on. I tell y'all all the time, Turn on the ding dong notification so you'll be notified. And a lot of y'all don't even claim your prizes. I've got a full box of stuff that just is unclaimed, which I will probably give away at a later date. Chris, what'd you think of it? I like them. I mean, they're just a worm. I mean, it's just a worm. It just glows. It's a glowy worm. It's a, it's a little glowy worm. Do you want to eat these like you ate the glow worms? Yeah, you said? No? Put sugar on them. Put sugar? I don't have any sugar on them. I'll work on that next time. What if, ooh, that's a good bait idea. What if I make worms that look like the trolley like night crawlers yeah. like the blue and the, the orange that'd be a good video i think that's what we need to do next i'll put glow powder in it too we need to make some that's a great idea inspiration just right off the top of my head if uh, you are a bait making channel video please don't steal that idea you heard it here first be fishing we're gonna make the same colors as those trolley bright crawlers. 
So anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will catch you on the next one. Chris, you got any parting words? Have a good day. Why'd you hit him with the Nixon? It's election season, I guess. Oh, election, you, you guess? You don't even know why you did it? I just do it. I just do things, man. It's spontaneous. All right, well, that's no, it. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later. <laughs> <laughs>